What's going on, people? Your boy, Matt Mike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons content. All right, this this is a conversation that actually happened with quite a few people. I actually had a conversation um, on uh, Coach Unchained, all right, his channel uh, with uh, the group. And it, 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 it got off to talking about Tyler Ogier and whether or not he's uh, should and is he going to stay? All right. And a lot of us feel as though that Tyler Algier is an elite back. I think he's a pretty good back. I don't say elite, but he's a damn good back. And most of them want him to stay. But if you look at the numbers, man, and, and just get right to it, I don't, I don't think it's possible for these guys to stay. But all right, this is three keys. This is three reasons why Algier is going, in my opinion. All right, uh, Atlanta Falcons, Tyler Algier, running back, dude is a hell of a back man. Um, and you know, he and Bijan Robinson, these guys are incredible duo. So, the first reason why I think Tyler Algier, um, is it's pretty much gone. All right, uh, he's just a great back. All right, Tyler Algier is just a great back when you look at him coming into his rookie season, I don't think anybody can deny um, a fifth round pick. Looking at a fifth round pick who put up the numbers and and pretty much took the Falcons by storm, the, the Falcons fans by, by storm, rushing for a thousand thirty five yards, four point nine yards of carry, three touchdowns in a in a in an offense with. You know, that this essentially these guys did not have a lot of playmakers. All right, the wide receiver core for the most part in 20, uh, 2022 was just it, it wasn't where we needed the offense. The Falcons were dealing with a lot of cap issues at the time, um, and then you combine that with the fact that you know the uh, the the core of running backs wasn't as good. All right, we had a couple of failures. Um, you know, had a bright spot in Avery Williams, uh, who was out this year with a torn ACL. I uh, hope he gets back to, uh, to full. Uh, I hope he get full speed, but full strength. But uh, <laughs> the the running back core was solid. All right, then you got last year. 186 carries, 683, four touchdowns. Um, the average wasn't as good as we thought it would be, but this guy is Tyler Algier is the he's the tempo setter, especially in under Arthur Smith. Now there's questions whether or not Atlanta Falcons uh, Zach Robinson, offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons, um, whether or not he's going to change the philosophy. And quite frankly, look, I, I don't, I don't have, I'm not 100% certain, but I, I can say with, in all honesty that the Falcons are going to run the ball. But I think a lot of this is going to be Tyler Algier, um, for sure. I, I think he's going to see a significant amount uh, of, of, of runs. But look, he's a great back, a great power back, and let's be honest, power backs do not last long in the NFL. So that's one thing that I think, you know, looking at Tyler Algier, he's just a great back. And sometimes you just can't keep two great backs. All right. So that's the first one. The second one, you look at his contract coming to an end. All right. The contract for Tyler Algier is another thing when you look at it, that could be pop. Um, that is, and you know, make no mistake about it. It is problematic all right so you got a guy like B. John robinson who's a star all right it's a four-year deal for tyler algier and he's going into year three all right year three 2024 and then 2025 the falcons you know they don't have to do or make a decision with tyler algier right now but looking at it you know he's only making about you know uh, a base salary um of about nine hundred thousand dollars all right so it's not a lot of money as of right now but you know the way that he's putting up these numbers man it almost a sure sign that this guy is going to uh ask for his money all right you rush for nearly you rush for a thousand yards this first year so he's already solidified that he is capable of carrying the load for not only the atlanta falcons or any other team that comes along that you know they need a back they want to pay give the Atlanta Falcons let's say hey you might say somebody say hey look 
I believe Tyler Algier is that good. I give you a low first round or a second round for his services. The Falcons are going to jump on that. Why? Because Bijan Robinson is that guy. And and quite frankly, in the NFL, let's be honest, do teams really rely on the run the way that they they used to? I say no. All right. So I know Tyler Algier is a huge favor, but the contract um, next couple of years, this year for sure, these guys are definitely going to have to make a, a decision on that. Um, because like I said, it's the contract. I know he's going to want his money and he, he deserves his money being a, a running back, uh, who's rushed for a thousand already. He deserves it. And he's, look, he's getting guys. You got other teams that are looking at the Falcons. I'm, I'm positive that these guys are already calling him, um, to be, uh, you know, calling the Falcons to see if he's available. I'm positive that that is happening. So, uh, we look at Tyler Algier, man. The contract is coming to an end, and the Falcons have essentially one year, one year to figure out if he's going to be here for the Atlanta Falcons for years to come. And the third one, B. John Robinson. All right, make no mistake about it. The Falcons are building around B. John Robinson. Okay, he is the guy. He is the end all be all. He is the focus of this Atlanta Falcons offense. All right. He, he pretty much set a record for a combined yardage rushing as well as receiving yards. So this guy is a star and the Falcons offense is going to be catered around him. So the question is whether or not with Zach Robinson, Atlanta Falcons, Zach Robinson, is whether or not he's going to utilize both backs. The Falcons are in a, a, a unique situation where you look at the tight end position. Obviously, they cut uh, John Usmail. So that's another guy off of the radar as far as who's going to uh, take up a lot of, uh, you know, touches. Because I know a lot of Falcons fans, you know, we, we got weapons. They know we got Kyle Pitts. And I, I think for the most part, they're going to utilize Kyle Pitts the way that Arthur Smith wasn't able. Um, he and Dave Ragone wasn't able to uh, get him acclimated. I think he's going to be, uh, uh, you know, a res- uh, we're going to see a resurgence in his career. And then you have Drake London. I think Drake London is going to be a star. I think he's going to be a star. So the Falcons are going to have to figure out a way to get not only Kyle Pitts, but they're going to find a way to get Drake London the ball. And then you have Bijan Robinson. He's a star. All right. And then look, the Falcons may want, they may find their own uh, poop in the good. Like you, you, you never know what these guys are. Uh, could have you know you never know what things could happen in the draft so there's so many things when it comes down to Tyler Algier and if he's going to be able to fit in you know the Falcons offense that's a lot of weapons the Falcons have again and there's some talks and whether or not the new quarterback whoever that quarterback is where they get up they trade up in the draft to get a, a guy like they trade up in the draft to get someone like Jaden Daniels. I mean, it, it, they did not interview him, so that's something interesting. And then you got the uh, questions of whether or not they're going to bring in a guy like Justin Fields. And if a guy like Justin Fields come in, we know Justin Fields likes to run the ball. So that's a lot of touches as far as the running game that he is. Uh, look, he may be in his feelings about. So, again, these are the three reasons why I believe Tyler Algier is gone from the Atlanta Falcons. He's a great back. Um, the contract is coming to an end and the Falcons are going to have to make a, a, a decision in the next year on whether or not he's going to be here long term. And the third one is just Bijan is that guy. I think this offense is going to be catered. Uh, around Bijan Robinson and his skill sets, and it's not going to be a lot of room for Tyler Algier to get touches. And he deserves money. He deserves to get paid. Um, he's a thousand yard back. He's already proven that he can carry the load. And then, 
you know, at the end of the day, man, I just don't think the Atlanta Falcons are going to be able to um, keep a guy that. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this. This, this man, this is your boy, man, Mike. If you enjoy these types of breakdowns, uh, continue to yeah, put yes. All right. Put yes in the comments. If you enjoy this type of breakdown, this has been your boy, man, Mike, with another uh, episode of Unleashed. If you like this, continue to support your boy here, man, Mike, man. I'm out of here. Peace.